happy morning to my dear lovable students i hope you all are fine everyone welcome to max class okay so in this conversation we are going to discussing about the different type of the example actually example 1.313029 we have rank of a comparing with rank of a with b so what we found example the rank of a will be 3 means rank of argument at time also 3 means both of them will be equal means number of unknowns also will be equal means what is the meaning with the unique solution that is this is same unique solution we have discussed with i think example 1.29 so the next example uh, th that is previous example previous example we have the two parameter solution two parameter solution means rank of a also one as well as rank of a with b also one but number of unknowns uh, three is there. that's why we have show that is the two parameter family of solution that is 1.31 but 1.30 what we have discussed rank of a equal to 2 and rank of a with b also 2 but number of unknowns 3 that's why we have considered with only one parameter solution but here we have to discuss definitely we will get one solution with the rank of a but this example one of the particular example comparing the other boy the rank of a also we will get one type of the matrix as well as rank of a with b also one type of the matrix so zero not zero or zero matrix okay will be checked one by one so first we have to arrange a is equal to one minus one positive one two minus one one three minus one one four minus one positive positive two isn't it now look at there 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 1 4 minus 1 2 then x means x y is it then b constant minus 9 positive 4 minus 9 positive 4 6 and 7 this is capital E capital X capital B argument term with the comparing b means what will happen 1 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 1 3 minus 1 1 4 minus 1 2 next one minus 9 4 6 7 so under the term we have to reduce the row echelon form row echelon form means when starting the non zero digit under the three term we have to do zero what we have to do R2 gives R2 minus 2 into R1. Then R3 gives R3 minus 3 into R1. Then R4 gives R4 minus 4 into R1. R1 as it is 1 minus 1, 1. Then minus 9. Next one R2 minus 2 into R1. So each and every time into 2, isn't it? into 2 here also into 2 so 1 into 2 2 minus 2 0 here minus one, common minus also is a minus into minus plus so minus 1 plus 2 1 will come there 1 minus 2 minus 1 will come here minus also is a common minus also is a plus will come 2 nines are 18 18 plus 4 is equal to positive 22 next what we have to do next into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 3 minus 3, 0. Minus is there, minus into minus plus. So, minus 1 plus 3, positive 2. Here, 1 minus 3, minus 2. Next one, there minus is there, common minus also is there. So, minus into minus plus, 9 3 is 27. 27 plus 6 is equal to positive 33. Next, what we have to do? Each and every time into 4, isn't it? Into 4, into 4, into 4. 1 into 4, 4, 4 minus 4, 0. There, minus is there, common minus also plus. Minus 1 plus 4 means positive 3, isn't it? Next one, there, no minus. So, 2 minus 4 is equal to minus 2. Next condition, 
Listen very carefully. There is minus sign is there. Common minus also is there. So minus into minus plus 9 fourths are 36. 36 plus 7 is equal to 43. Next under the two term means there isn't it. So R3 gives R3 minus 2 into R1. Then R4 gives R4 minus 3 into sorry R2 isn't it. Here also R2. R1 R2 as it is 1 minus 1 1 then minus 9. 0, 1, minus 1, 22. Listen, 2 into R2, isn't it? Here also into 2, into 2, into 2. What will happen? So, 2 into 2, 4, isn't it? Listen very carefully. Sorry, 4 into 2, isn't it? Into 2, into 2, into 2. So, 1 into 2, 2. 2 minus 2, 0. Here actually minus 1 is there. Minus 1 into minus 2 here also common minus so minus into minus plus so minus 2 plus 2 means value will be 0 listen very carefully there 22 into 4 22 into 2 means 44 isn't it 44 means 33 minus 44 so minus 11 will come next condition into 3 isn't it into 3 into 3 into 3 3 minus 3 0 0 minus 1 into 3 minus 3 so common minus will be added means plus 3 will come so minus 2 plus 3 means positive 1 here 22 into 3 means 66 so 43 minus 66 means 43 upon 66 minus 43 6 minus 3 3 6 minus 4 23 isn't it so there is actually bigger minus isn't it 43 minus 66 definitely minus 23 So listen, when starting the non-zero digit, first one okay under the time, second one is there under third one, look at there. So just we have to interchange, if it interchange means we will get it clear of the row echelon form. So what we have to do, R3 interchange R4, okay. R1, R2 as it is, 1, minus 1, 1, minus 9, then 0, 1, minus 1, positive 22. Uh, 0, 0, 1, minus 23. Last condition, 0, 0, 0, minus 11. Listen, what did I say when starting this problem? The rank of A, we will get it one type of the not 0. Then comparing rank of A with B, another one rank of not 0 row. Look at there. So comparing first rank of A, okay, first not 0, first not 0, not 0. But here, completely 0 row. So completely 0 row means definitely... This is rank of A is equal to 3, but rank of A with B, look at there, completely non-zero row, here also non-zero row, third also non-zero, fourth also non-zero row. That's why we have the different type of the result. Okay, for example, 1.32, isn't it? So, different type of the result means we have to write it clearly, rank of A, it's not equal to rank of A with B. This type of the result, definitely we can say 1.31. 3029 both all three examples we have written the solution consistency here not equal so definitely we can write it it is inconsistency it is in consistency so it is inconsistency no solution okay it is consistency with no solution with no uh, solution This inconsistency, no solution. Equating now, just what will happen? Last condition, 0 is equal to, otherwise, order wise, first equation, x minus y plus z is equal to minus 9. Next one, y minus z is equal to positive 22. Third one, z is equal to minus 23. Last one, 0 is equal to minus 1. See, this last equation, the last equation contradiction last equation is a contradiction this type of the result not possible to apply if it any number means okay this is actually it's not a solution it's not a correct value 0 is equal to minus less so we are writing 
the last equation is a contradiction the final line also one of the important okay we have to write it if you get it such a type of the result we should be finished the last line also okay one of the important line okay this is our final answer so what is the main result it is inconsistency with no solution okay i hope you understand okay i will continue the next example 1.33 So example 1.33, what is the question? Find the condition A, B and C3 condition is there. Show that the following system of linear equation. So after find out the rank of A and rank of augmented term with B has one parameter family of solution. So sometimes after getting the result, rank of a we will get it non-zero tam will be true means rank of a with b we have three means this is not equal the previous problem we have show clearly that is no solution why not equal but the condition they are asking you have to show has one parameter family of solution if it is one parameter family of solution means we have proved example 1.30 Sorry, I think 3 1. Example 1 1.31, we have show one parameter solution. How one parameter solution? Rank of A also true, as well as rank of A with B also true. Then only we can consider Z is equal to T. That time we can say it is one parameter family of solution. So, first we will check it what the answer will come. Okay. What is the equation? First equation. So, A is equal to 1, 1, 1. Then 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, then 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7, then x means condition A, B, C, A, B, C, then, sorry my dear, the constant only A, B, C, and this is called x, y and z, B means A, B, C, so listen, Answer for capital A, X and B means augmented term with comparing B means what will happen? 1, 1, 1, then A, there 1, 2, 3, B, 3, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7, C, isn't it? Now, what we have to do? Right, to reduce the right line form. Under the when starting the non zero digit, under the two time we have to show zero. What we have to do? R2 gives R2 minus R1. R3 gives R3 minus 3 into R1. So R1 as it is 1, 1, 1, then A. R2 means 1 minus 1, 0. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 1, positive 2, B minus C, isn't it? Third one, each and every row 1 multiply into 3, isn't it? Here also 3, to 3. So 1 into 3, 3. 3 minus 3, 0. 1 into 3, 3. 5 minus 3, positive 2. 1 into 3, 3. 7 minus 3, positive 4. Here, C minus 3, isn't it? C minus 3A. Next, the second one, isn't it? Second one means under the term, true is there. So, R3 gives R3 minus 2 into R2. So, R1, R2 as it is, 1, A. Next condition, 0, 1, true, B minus A. Next one, look at there. Here also, into true, into true. The both condition, into true. 1 into 2, 2 minus 2, 0. 2 into 2, 4. 4 minus 4, 0, isn't it? But here, look at very carefully. C minus 3A. Then common minus is there, isn't it? So minus of 2 into B minus A. Again C minus 3A. If you remove the bracket, minus 2B plus 2A. So minus 3A plus 2A means minus A and minus 2B. Therefore C minus A minus 2B. I will write the last result. What is the result? A with B, tam 1, 1, 1, A, 0, 1, true, B minus A, 0, 0, 
0 c minus k minus 2b this is considered for rank of a this is whole term considered for rank of a with b so rank of a look at there non zero digit non zero row third row non zero consider for true but rank of a with b look at there this whole term okay non zero row non zero row third row also non zero row but this is actually if you show like that means definitely rank of a it's not equal but what is the question show that the following system of linear equation has one parameter family solution when it will show it has one parameter solution definitely this row completely zero means so completely zero means definitely the whole row third row completely zero row if it completely zero row means we can say one parameter how consider for z is equal to any one value so if it equal to zero means what we have to do uh, to make it one parameter solution c minus a minus 2b is equal to 0 means c is equal to minus a bring out opposite side positive a minus 2b bring out opposite side means positive 2 positive 2b now you can look at instead of c c you can apply a plus 2b means a plus 2b minus a minus 2b cancel means we will get the 0 if it's 0 means definitely we can say it has one parameter solution that is one of the important condition tricky question okay if you know the concept i hope definitely you can attend what i am saying so i think you have cleared the point the last point that is third row we have to show completely zero row okay that is our one of the main condition okay i hope my dear students you understand everything so i will move on next example 1.34 example 1.34 investigate for what values of lambda and mu the system of linear equation three equation is there so one by one we have to find it one of the important five mark questions okay listen very carefully the same concept same concept means already we have seen in 1.33 1.32 31 so here all the mixed possible cases in example 1.34 because 1.33 only one solution only one result then example 1.32 that is also one result 31 also only one result here three condition is there we have to find it okay so first we have to arrange a is equal to 1 2 1 then 1 1 lambda third one 1 3 minus 5 then x means x y is set then constant b means 7 mu 5 7 mu 5 consider for a capital x b then augmented term with b means what is the meaning of augmented to reduce the row equivalent form 1 2 1 1 1 lambda 1 3 minus 5 7 mu 5 then what is the meaning of row equivalent form when starting the non-zero digit under the two term we have to show zero what we have to do r2 gives r2 minus r1 then r3 gives r3 minus r1 r3 minus r1 R1 as it is 1, 2, 1, 7, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 2, minus 1, lambda minus 1, lambda minus 1, mu minus 7. Next one, 1 minus 1, 0, 3 minus 2, positive 1, minus 5 is there, isn't it? So minus 5, minus 5 and minus 1, isn't it? R3 minus minus 5, minus 1 means minus 6. Next condition. 5 minus 7. 5 minus 7 means minus 2. Next, what we have to do? Very simply, no? Listen very carefully. R3 gives R3 plus R2. We will get no because already in R2 minus sign is there. R1 R2 as it is true 1 7 0 minus 1 lambda minus 1 mu minus 7. There. 0 plus 0, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, here look at there, minus 6 plus lambda minus 1, 
minus 6 minus 1 means lambda minus 7 here lambda minus 7 next condition minus 2 minus 7 definitely mu minus 9 then so I will write it the same concept. What is the argument with B form? Reichland form now 1, 2, 1, then 7, 0, minus 1, lambda minus 1, mu minus 7, 0, 0, lambda minus 7, and mu minus 9. So, after getting the Reichland concept, first one, what is the value? No solution. So, no solution means already we have discussed when you get the result no solution rank of A it is not equal to rank of A with B. If it both of this is considered for rank of A means this is whole time considered for rank of A with B. So, rank of A when you get it the rank of A not equal to rank of B means rank of A is equal to true as well as rank of A with B is equal to 3 means we can say not equal. Okay, rank of A is equal to 2. We have to show 2 means definitely the third row, the 0 row. What we have to do? Lambda minus 7 is equal to 0 means lambda is equal to positive 7. If you apply the lambda is equal to positive 7 means 7 minus 7 will be 0. Completely we can say lambda of rank of A completely not 0 row only 2 row only. Third row completely we can say it is a 0 row. Then rank of A by B, we can say this is 3. When you will say this is 3 means definitely mu minus 9 not equal to 0. Mu minus 9 not equal to 0 means mu not equal to positive 9. Mu value only positive 9 only not possible. Even minus 9 also we can take it. If you take it minus 9 means minus 9 minus 9 means minus 18 will come. So completely it is definitely we can say it is not 0 row. That is why we are saying. Uh, how to say the no solution rank of a equal to true rank of a by b equal to 3 when you say the rank of a is equal to true means lambda is equal to 7 when you say rank of a by b equal to 3 mu not equal to 9 okay this is first one i am moving to second one unique solution second one unique solution so unique solution means both the time will be equal both the time will be equal means rank of a also equal and rank of a with b also equal because number of unknowns will be 3 so both the time will be equal means definitely will be 3 will become isn't it then when you will come both the time will be equal means lambda minus so lambda minus 7 not equal to 0 means lambda not equal to 7 only. We can take it minus 7 also. If we take it minus 7 means minus 7 minus 7 minus 14 will come. So definitely not both the time will be equal. No, where definitely this is completely 0 row. First to second time also 0 row. If it considered lambda not equal to 7 means okay, I will consider for minus 7. If it can take it minus 7 means minus 7 minus 7 minus 14. So third row also we can say not 0 row. But mu can be any value. Even we can take it positive 9 also okay if you take it positive 9 means mu can be any value if you take positive 9, 9 minus 9 0 okay but here we have no minus minus 14 is there if it by any one time also non zero time means completely we can say it is called non zero row all the time will be zero means then only we can say it is zero row okay that's why i'm saying when you, do, you can say it is a unique solution, lambda not equal to 7, mu can be any value. This is called no solution. Sorry, this is called unique solution. Then infinitely many number of solution. Third one. Infinitely many number of solution. When you say infinitely many number of solution, so, infinitely many is completely we have to show 0. Then only we can say infinitely many solution, isn't it? That is actually rank of A is equal to rank of A with B less than number of unknowns. Less than number of 
unknowns already i have seen i think example 1.32 1.31 Three one also, but whether it is two parameter family solution, one parameter family solution. So that time one parameter family solution means we can say infinitely many number of solution. So how to rearrange? Lambda minus seven is equal to zero. Lambda minus seven is equal to zero, and mu minus nine is equal to zero. So lambda is equal to seven, and mu is equal to nine. C. If you apply lambda is equal to seven means seven minus seven zero, isn't it? Seven minus seven zero. Next term also mu is equal to nine. Mu is equal to nine means nine minus nine also zero. If you apply the both term will be seven and nine means we can say completely third row zero row. If it completely third row zero row means we can say no, it is one parameter family solution. So one parameter family solution means infinitely many number of solution. Okay, I hope you understand everything. One of the important five mark questions. Okay. Exercise 1.6, question number one, subdivision one. So please listen, my dear students. I am moving to exercise questions. So subdivision two, three, and four. Do it yourself. Don't worry, my dear students. I am always with you. If you have any doubt, please put in comment box. I am ready to clarify your doubts. Okay. Let's move on. Question number one, subdivision one. First, we have to make it argumented term. Capital A is equal to one minus one, positive true. Then true one four, then four minus one one. Then what is the value of x? X y and z. Then b means true seven four true seven and four. Then comparing with argument at time with b means one minus one positive true true. True one four seven four minus one positive one and four. Next, what we have to do? We have to utilize the row equivalent form. That is augmented form to reduce the row equivalent. How to apply the row equivalent form when starting the non-zero digit under the two term? So under the two term means true and four. We have to show zero. R two gives R two minus two into R one. Again, R three gives R three minus three into R one. R one as it is, one minus one positive true, then true. Again, what we have to do? Into two, isn't it? Into two, into two. One into two, two. Two minus two, zero. Again, minus one into two, minus two. We have common minus, so so plus will come. One plus two is equal to positive three. There two is there. Two into two, four. Four minus four, zero. Next condition, two into two, four. Seven minus four is equal to positive three. Third row, which and every time multiply into three, into three. What will happen? So, sorry, my dear, into four, isn't it? R three minus there are four in R. So one into four, four, four minus four is equal to zero. Minus one into four minus four we have common minus so minus into minus plus minus one plus four means a positive three here two into four eight one minus eight is equal to minus seven there look at there two into four is equal to eight isn't it so two into four is equal to eight four minus eight is equal to minus four next what you have to do R three gives R three minus R two R one R two as it is one minus one positive two true Zero three zero three again zero three minus three zero minus seven only because second row term we have zero is that so minus seven plus zero means minus seven next here minus four minus three means minus three see sorry my dear there is minus seven isn't it so next we approve the row equivalent form. After getting the row equivalent form, check it there. This is considered for rank of A. This is whole term considered for rank of A with B. So rank of A is equal to non-zero row, non-zero row, non-zero row also. So rank of A is equal to three. The next condition also rank of A with B. Rank of A with B means definitely 
consider whole term 0 non zero row non zero row non zero row also here also 3 number of unknowns x y z is there number of unknowns is equal to 3 therefore rank of a is equal to rank of a with b is equal to number of unknowns all the term will be equal means this is it is consistency with the unique solution isn't it it is consistency with unique solution so what we have to do if it unique solution means the last term in equivalent form means minus 7 is it is equal to minus 7 second term 3y is equal to positive 3 first equation x minus y plus 2 is it is equal to true question number 1 true and 3 means what is the value of z from 1 from 1 z is equal to minus minus cancel means z is equal to 1 will come because 7 divided by 7 1 next condition substitute z value in equation number 2 isn't it what is equation number 2 already z value also 3 isn't it equation number z value also we have 1 is there but here according to the condition z value is a term there is nothing so no need to apply directly if and taken means so no need from equation number 2 we can write okay from equation 2 3y is equal to 3 means y is equal to 1 so z also 1 y also 1 so both value we have to apply in equation number 3 both value so substitute y and e set in equation number 1 what is equation number 1 x minus y plus true z is equal to true isn't it therefore y is value x minus 1 plus 2 because z also value will be 1 is equal to true then minus 1 plus 2 means positive 1 is equal to true plus 1 bring out opposite side means minus 1 therefore value will be 1 so both value x also value 1, y also value will be 1, z also value will be 1, okay. So, I have finished subdivision 1 from exercise 1.6. So, remaining subdivision 2, 3, 4, do it yourself, okay. So, I will continue the next class. Bye-bye.